So this question says, in a survey of 240 television viewers, three-fifths indicated that they like comedies. I'm going to stop right there. So I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question, which long questions typically are. And because I have some quantitative information provided here in this first sentence, I'm going to actually figure out, well, what does all this mean? If there were 240 television viewers and three-fifths of them indicated they like comedies, well, that means 240 times three-fifths, which can be simplified, which I'll just use my calculator for. So 240, I'm going to do 240 times 3 and then divide it by 5. So this equals 144. So now I know, number-wise, that out of those 240 television viewers, 144 of them indicated that they like comedies. Then it says some indicated that they do not like comedy. So we do not know what number of them indicated they do not like comedies, and the rest did not respond. Okay, so I know that 144 plus, let's say, x, which represents the sum, and the rest is y, so plus y, I know it's going to equal the 240 total that were surveyed. If one of the 240 viewers is selected at random, which means they can come from either the 144 group, the X group, or the Y group, if one of the 240 viewers is selected at random, the probability is 1 15th that the viewer selected did not respond. Okay, so anytime I see the word probability on the SAT, I know that it's gonna be a fraction, in which case the numerator is what you want or the category that you're looking at, the category you care about, out of what you have, right? Or the total options that you're choosing from. I know that the total options that I'm choosing from are the total number of people who took the survey, which is 240. I don't know what this numerator value is, but I do know somehow that it reduces down to one over 15, because that's what this tells me, right? And then again, I'm using X, but is X correct? The viewer selected did not respond. Uh, oh, why, right? So I said why was the non, the non-responders, so let's just keep that consistent. So there's no confusion. So really this is y over 240 equals 15, or I'm sorry, equals one over 15. The question goes on to say, how many of the 240 viewers indicated that they do not like comedies? This is actually asking for x. So I need to find y and then use that to find x. So let's do that, let's find y first. So I'm going to do that by cross multiplying here. That leads to 15y equals 240. Divide both sides by 15. And therefore, go to my calculator, 240 divided by 15. 240 divided by 15 is 16. So the number of non-responders is 16. Okay. So now back to this equation here, which I'll write clearer. 144 plus x plus, now I know the non-responders were 16. I know that all together there were only 240 people. So I can do the math on this, 144 plus 16, well that's 160. So I have 160 plus x equals 240. And then of course I subtract 160 from both sides here, and I'm left with x is equal to uh, x is equal to 80. So x is 80. That's what we're looking for. x represents the number of the sum who indicated that they do not like comedies. So that's my answer here. The answer to number 31 is 80.